What's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Uh, it is March 13th. It is about 6.20 p.m. I was trying to do a Facebook Live, as I usually do, but my internet is acting up. So hopefully I can get this thing posted before the end of the day. Uh, today's topic is going to be about rivalries. Who's your rival? Who's your rival? So it was August, it was August 15th, 1990. When I first saw one of my rivals, right? I walk on the campus of UC Davis, uh, playing cornerback with, with enthusiasm, ready to embark upon what I hope would be a great career, right? I show up, first day at camp, there's, there's 120 of us, probably, 120 football players at UC Davis, August 15, 1990, about 105 degrees. I show up, there's this guy who looks just like me, right? Not physically, not in face or in features, but his look, his look is my look, right? I show up, right? I'm from Seaside, so I, I wear, I wear a, a, a bandana as part of my look. That was the 90s, that was part of the look. Deion Sanders made that, made that popular. Terrell Buckley from Florida State made that pop popular. So I had my bandana on. I had trained and traded in my red one I'm a black one for a blue one for UC Davis colors. Not only that, but I have my tights on, right? I'm from Seaside where it's cold. So 70 degrees is hot in Seaside during football season. So I got my tights on. You know, once you have your look, that's your look regardless. Regardless, that's your look. So I have my tights. I have my long sleeve shirt, right? In part, because that was my look. Also in part, I wasn't trying to get darker had this uh this uh this mind mind hang up about being dark it's a whole different topic but I have my gloves right I have my gloves I have my wristbands and my look was tight I had my little towel hanging down so I show up there's a guy with the same exact look as me both of us obviously admire Deion Sanders we both admire Terrell Buckley obviously but nonetheless here he is Right, here he is. I'm number three, he's number two. Right, how 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 closer can it get? Right, so that's August 15, 1990. Fast forward two years, three years, three years, three years, we're roommates. Fast forward five years, we're housemates. Fast forward 30 years, we are the best of friends. Our moms became the best of friends, right? So. Sean Parker, that's his name. Sean Parker, today's his birthday. So he turns, what is Sean today? 47, he's older than me. 47, so my running mate, my rival, right? So turns out we both played cornerback. We played opposite each other for a good part of our career. He moved to safety later on. But for the bulk of that, we trained together, we competed together. He wanted to be the best DB on campus. I wanted to be the best DB on campus. He wanted to go to the NFL. I wanted to go to the NFL. He wanted to be uh, the interceptions leader. I wanted to be the interceptions leader. He wanted to be the best looking. He was the best looking. <laughs> right? So that's my dog, right? But, but we needed that, right? He needed me to make him push. I needed him to push me. Now we had other guys in our in, in our in our circle, right? Who I'm still tight with: Jordan, Danny, Chris, Daryl, Mo. It goes on and on, right? Of guys who who I competed with, but Sean was my dog. He was my running mate, right? We trained together. We pushed each other, right? There were times when I was jealous that he could get strong so quickly, that he was naturally bigger than me, faster than me. Right, but because of him, I, I was I was a better football player, and so the point of that story is we all need rivals to bring out the best in us, right? Many of us have gone through life comfortably, right, in a position where we want to be one of the better looking, one of the smarter, one of the more fit people in every room we're in, right? The saying goes: if you're the smartest guy in the room, find a new room. Right, if you're the fittest guy in the room, find a new room. If you if you're the most beautiful girl in the room, find a new room. Because that room right there won't make you better. Right? So just like magic needed bird, 
right? Just like Jordan needed the Pistons and the Celtics, just like, just like, believe it or not, LeBron and Curry needed each other, right? To rise to new levels, right? We need rivals, right? Microsoft needs Apple to be pushed, right? Nike needed Under Armour to come around, to reinvent themselves, right? So we need to make sure that we are continuing to get better. My boot camp, right, is mainly women, but there's some dogs in there. There's some guys, Chris, Lawrence, Damon, Eric. There's some dogs, Jason. There's some guys in my class that are big, strong dudes, right? And I have a joke that I'm the biggest rooster in the class, Right. And and I, I enjoy saying that. But the truth is, some of these guys make me question that sometimes some strong dudes in my class. Larry. Right. Who's who I call my bigger brother. I have a poster on my wall that people say looks like him. I'll be getting mad. Hey, that's me. They ain't Larry. That's me. Right. But they push me. Right. There are days when I do I do a workout and I want to text Chris or text Larry or text Jason and say, this is what I did. Right, they bring that out of me. If I had all women in my class or all people who were who were new at, at at working out, I wouldn't get pushed like that. When I see Lawrence and Damon pushing heavyweights on the deadlifts and grunting and, and 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 being like lions, I want some of that. It pushes me. Right? If if I if I'm in a, if I'm in a school, I was in school and someone got a good grade, I wanted to get a good grade. Right? It pushes. So so you want people around you who are smart who bring out your intelligence. You want people around you who are creative, right? Who bring out your creativity. You want people around you who are athletic and strong and driven to bring those similar qualities out in you. Otherwise you're comfortable, right? And being comfortable feels good, but it don't make you better. It don't make you grow, right? Tomorrow I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a, a Facebook Live co-hosted with one of my uh, mentors in, in the whole fat loss ketone conversation, right? Rob DeBoer, right? He a bad dude. He a bad dude. He played football at, in the SEC, right? Same age as me. Played for South Carolina, I believe it was, in the, in the SEC where the big dogs play at, right? He knows his fat loss stuff in and out. His ketones in and out. Right. But rather than say, I don't want him to get on my on my platform and, and know more than me. No, I, I encourage it because not only can I learn more, but I'm forced to get better. Right. Being surrounded by people who are great. Right. So I'm going to ask you this. Who are you surrounding yourself with that's bringing the best out in you? It better be somebody. Right. If you want to be a better parent, are you around good parents? Right. Are you the best parent in your group? You want to be you want to be financially secure? Are you around people who have money or around broke people? So you feel better, right? I used to be intimidated, right? Because my clientele it has money, some of them, right? I, I, I work in Silicon Valley. My boot camp is at the base of, of an area of San Jose that, that has, 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 is affluent. And so I used to be intimidated by them coming down the hill and, and training with me. What I learned is, is I can learn from them, right? Rather than be intimidated, I can learn from them, right? So who in your circle is helping you grow? Who's your rival? If you don't have one, find one, right? Because we need, we need somebody to push us to new levels, right? Jordan will tell you, Michael Jordan will tell you, he needed to get pushed down by the Detroit Pistons and the New York Knicks and the Boston Celtics. To be great. He'll tell you he wouldn't have had six championships had he not gone through that. Right? Larry Bird and Magic Johnson still tell you, tell the world how they needed each other. Opposite ends of the country, right? Battling for supremacy. Right? We need that. Right? So your homework for the next for this year, for the for the, for tomorrow, for the next month, is to begin to look for ways to surround yourself with people who make you a little bit nervous a little bit uncomfortable, who push you to be better, right? Who, who, who make you question if you, if you are doing the right things to get better, who give you a target to shoot for, right? Who encourage you to be better because they want to be better. 
And then maybe if you're lucky, you can be the same for that person. The way me and Sean were. The way me and my boys still are. We all we still compete and help each other in a, in a, in a productive way. Right? My boy Denny, so I got my master's. My boy Chris got his master's. Then Jordan and Sean followed. Right? Then here come Denny, right? Getting a PhD. Right? Well, all of us are like, man, what can we do? Right? So surround yourself with people who are great. Right? People who are great. Right? Every day Chris walks in or Lawrence walks in or Jason walks in or even the women in my class. Right? Who impress me every single day. Right? They make me want to be better and all kinds, in all kinds of ways as a parent, as a spouse, in fitness, in finances, right? In my character, all those things. So push yourself, guys. Surround yourself with, with people who, who are above you, right? Who pull you up with them, right? Find people around you to be rivals with, right? And that push you and motivate you and inspire you. All right, we need it. We need it. We need rivals, right? You need rivals, right? The same way Jordan needed all those teams to get better, the same way, you know, the Cavs and the, and the Warriors needed each other to get pushed, the same way Microsoft needs, needs Apple, same way Sony needs whoever, Mitsubishi, whatever, right? We need people, companies, organizations, teams to push us. Right, so find somebody, find a rival, and if you're lucky, you'll have somebody that you can bond with and compete with for your whole life, the way me and Sean have. All right, guys, have a good day. Hope that message resonates. Uh, tomorrow, I'm having a, uh, again, a Facebook Live co-hosted, me and my boy Rob uh, DeBoer from the East Coast. So it's 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. All right, so check back with me. All right, guys, love you. Have a good day. Bye.